Hi, I just had a wee wander into the woods not far from the motorway and instantly came across a like a holding pen for young pheasants. The gate's open now, so obviously they've been released into the wilds. A feeding station here for them. So obviously these woods must be used for pheasant shooting. Not something I agree with. I, killing animals for sport. I don't get that, but some people seem to enjoy it. Um, yes, I understand some species need to be controlled and culled, especially deer, and there's no natural predators, but yeah, it's just a strange one, the pheasants. I don't think they're the most challenging bird to shoot. I think even me could hit one with a blindfold on. Anyway, that's to each their own, I suppose. So, this has always got gamekeepers about here, which is interesting. I'll have a wee nosy about, see what else I can find. And my travels. Okay, check back soon. Hello again guys, um, I'm enjoying the little wanderings around this little bit of hillside um, and I've just followed the tracks up which are used by gamekeepers mostly I think for feeding the pheasants and I have a beautiful view right there of my favourite site known as Secret Squirrel and you can just get an idea what it's like, it's that little hill there on the I suppose your left hand side as you look at the video um, just beautiful little site up there it's just up on its own looks nice views to the sort of south and the west and I've always been intrigued to see what this bit looks like this little bit of hills that you see from Secret Squirrel and so it's good to see what it's like just a cow field and as I say mostly for a uh, pheasant shooting and stuff so obviously a lot of gamekeeper action around here so I wouldn't want to camp here unless I was want to avoid gamekeepers and do something extra specially stealthy uh, but we shall see so that's why I'm here today really enjoying it and I'll carry on the wonders thanks guys see you in a wee more as I continue my adventures Alright, looks like I've stumbled across something quite interesting here. This little architectural feat of engineering. Got a nice stone built structure. Oops, look at that. Beautiful arch there. Somebody made a brickwork when we're building this. But I think it might be a nice house or something. Let's find out. Around the front. That's well made, isn't it? Ah, ah, a wee tiny door. What's in here? Yeah, wow. It's, yeah, I think it's a shelving. I'm assuming. This was an ice house. They must have had ice in the winter from frozen little ponds and things. Kept it in here. And you would have uh, had ice around them in the summertime. So the posh folk could get their, their ice creams. Very impressed. I like it. Nice find. Just shows you what you find when you wander about the hills. Great find. It's like a little ice house. Let's have a look inside. Wow, so 
will win. Very cool when you go in there, so it's obviously well designed. Uh, you feel the chill, so that's a great little shelter. Who knows? A night out in a nice house. Never seen that done before. Could be a first for YouTube. Hey guys, I'm going to carry on my adventures. I'm going to get lunch soon because I have to get home. Uh, Alrighty, I'm going to get a quick lunch today, I don't have much time. It's got a little billy can, easy to cook pasta. Put some little extras to add in for taste. So just a basic zone meal. That's the pronto. Tomato chili. Easy peasy. Tomato. We add some tuna. And that idea is simple. Right, let's get sorted. Let's get set up. Right, let's get that sand gear on. Dip the twig with some nets. Light the twig. Light the nets. Job done. Get the cooking stuff. Can stand on. Pasta. Simple as that, it's all just need to be heated up. There we go. It'll cost me about 150. That. Rubbish. A little homemade foil wind guard. I'm really pleased with it, it does the job nicely. Spoon to mix the pasta. And that should be all. No, let's get some tuna in it. I like tuna in my pasta. Nutritious and tasty. There we go. Nice simple little tin, just enough for a one serving on the good side. Oh, 
tiny bit of water, tiny bit dry, and just moisten it up a bit. And that should quickly be ready very quickly. So it's quick, easy peasy lunch. And how long did that take? Barely two minutes. Tabasco to spice it up. And once that's done, I'll get my little brew on. And that'll be all really set. I'll be happy. Okay, that's your okay. Famous taste test of the Dolmio Pronto. Let's have a go. Check me out. It's so quick to make. Lovely. Tastes fine. Cooked, bit of tuna in it, bit of Tabasco. A couple of minutes to cook, basic. Just got a brew on now. So I, I would definitely use these ones when camping. Basic pasta sauce. Add whatever you want to it. Meat, veg, tuna, whatever. Just spice it up a bit. And uh, sheep, easy meal. Easy to carry, lightweight, and yeah, a fraction of the price of your fancy dancy wayfarer or type meals that cost about north of five, six, seven pounds if you get them out of a hill walking shop. So, yep, absolutely nice. Tested, recommended. Right, oh. folks, thank you so much for watching the video. I'm just going to wrap things up now because I'm in a lovely little spot in a sort of a clearing in the forest um, under some beech trees. Just had my lunch, I'm having a little mocha, then I'll pack up and head on home. So it's been lovely, great little, oops, great little uh, journey of discovery today. Again, the place that's less than 10 minutes from my house, by car, and then um, pass it by all the time. It's close to a motorway, so I suppose that tends to put you off. But, it's lovely. Great little spot. Downsides, it's obviously a working wood, gamekeeping going on. So, I don't think has great potential for uh, camping, because I can just be hassled and be involved if... The burly uh, gamini gamekeeper comes all angry with the shotgun. Possibly that's a, uh, <laughs> a disservice to the great gamekeeping profession, but I don't think they'd like it here because this is their, their work. And so they want you to clear off. They've got to make money, keep the old rich landowner happy. But definitely a lovely little walk around here. I really enjoyed finding this ice house. I'll have to find out more about that. What a great structure. Who knows? Stealth camp in there. Ooh, could be spooky. So as I say, I'm winding up now, guys. Um, enjoyed my quick pasta lunch and having a coffee. And I'll pack up, get back to the car, and uh, catch you guys real soon. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I would do this if I had zero viewers, but the more people that watch it, the more worthwhile it feels to me. Because uh, I always feel there's somebody out here enjoying your little adventures. Um, I learn from people. Hopefully you can learn from me at the very best. Have a laugh. <laughs> See what you're up to. So, thank you so much. Bullaburn Bushcraft will be back soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you, if you can. I'd appreciate that. Okay, guys. See you later. Bye.